So my area of research is understanding how the malaria parasite functions, how it invades human cells and how it survives within human cells and how it utilizes its protein motors to cause infection in human hosts. So specifically we work on uh, these translation motors. So these proteins are required for the parasite to make proteins and in the absence of them being able to make proteins, parasites will not survive just like any other cell. So these proteins are actually very good targets as we have shown over the past few years for discovering new inhibitors and new drugs. We use structural biology to understand these proteins and then the structural biology insights can provide new avenues for drug and vaccine development. Malaria parasite is a challenging problem like many other eukaryotic parasites are. And the reason for that is that just like we continue to evolve, the malaria parasites also continue to evolve. And evolution is fueled by, by stress or by selective pressure. So the more we select out parasites and treat them with drugs, the more likely that in the end they may end up being drug resistant. And we know that there are malaria parasites that are drug resistant even to the best drugs that are around today. The same applies to the malaria vector or to mosquitoes. So you will have insect insecticide resistant mosquitoes. And so these challenges run hand in hand with our advances in coming up with new drugs and new insecticides. And this is a race that goes on and on and shall go on for a long time. Specifically in case of malaria, one has to differentiate between malaria eradication and elimination. There are two different goals. In terms of understanding the malaria parasite evolution, it's the malaria eradication which seems a very far-fetched goal. Whereas malaria elimination is a, is a, a near reachable goal which has already been achieved in many countries and is being actively uh, worked upon in several others. And so, for example, since 2000, the malaria cases and malaria deaths have come down by almost 50% worldwide. These are because of successful malaria elimination programs. In context of malaria, I have a feeling that uh, one's work will not be done fully unless the, the economic situation of the countries where malaria is endemic changes significantly. So one can view malaria also as an economic problem or one can call it a problem of the poor. And so as there is economic development, the vector populations, that is the mos mosquito vector populations, tend to come down significantly, generally, and that in turn controls malaria transmission. There is tremendous irony in following malaria parasites, which, which like all cells, also follow Darwinian principles. And so we are coming up with potential drugs that may push parasites into developing mutant forms uh, which will be lead to drug resistant forms and that simply fits into the Darwinian ideas and models that under selection systems you will have life evolving to counter those selective systems um, and the parasites perform that perfectly and so we are we are you know equally poised in in in, in the sense of yes there is intellectual engagement and fulfillment but at a moral level there are problems which concern us and continue to drive us because we know that in the end we can win uh, if we persist on this course of drug delivery and drug development. The malaria community has been somewhat split in terms of those adhering to understanding parasite processes in order to come up with drug delivery systems or new drug targets and another community that was interested in developing vaccines. But from evidence so far, it's clear that the, dr the drugs are the mainstay for malaria control worldwide and it seems very likely that they'll remain so in coming decades. We know that, for example, the number of deaths that have come down since 2000 to 2015, this is a very substantial number, around 6 million lives have been saved. And the sole chemical contributor to saving these lives, aside from the insecticide bed nets and the residual spray, is artemisinin-based drugs. So we know drugs work against malaria as we know drugs work against many other diseases. And so uh, I have a, a strong feeling that uh, we'll have new anti-malarials on the horizon much before we'll have effective vaccines. I think the Infosys Prize has uh, probably serves as a huge stamp of approval of the ideas that drive the research. 
for the individuals who've been conferred this award. And so in that sense, it's a huge validation for us of the ideas that we've developed over the past six or so years specifically uh, in targeting these enzyme families. It's already helped us in actually drawing up new links with people because suddenly whatever we were uh, proposing seems a lot more real and doable to people because they realize that yes, the a very strong jury has vetted all the ideas and it seems that this is the right track to be on, yes. So it's been a great help to us.